Hi everyone, so this is just a short video um, to get you thinking about what's left to do um, to complete assignment 4 which is the research essay. Now there is another explanatory video with some different information in it at the beginning of the week 10 topic but this is as good a time as any to start planning the last three and a bit weeks of EWU so that you're on time and you're on schedule and you get everything handed in and submitted um, by the due dates. So let's have a quick look. So this is what's left to do for you and it looks like a big long list so we'll just quickly go through it and then we'll look at how you can um, work out how it's best to organise your time because that's going to be the key to getting this task uh, completed successfully. So you have to finish researching your two topics. You've started researching it by doing the researching them by doing the annotated bibliography but there will be research left to do because for your annotated bibliography you only needed to find three resources. For your research essay you must use between six and ten resources so you may not have found that many yet and so that's something that you need to keep doing by using the library and other online information um, to Tools. You need to be reading and making notes from the research that you find. Now you may use notes TM strategy to do that or you may take notes in a different way. That is up to you. That part of this assessment does not get, get handed in but you do want to be taking really decent and useful notes because that is what you'll use to complete activity 4-7 which is the planning of your four body paragraphs using the graphic organizer. Now this is explained in some detail in the study guide with a model as well. So you need to have a really good close look at that to see what we're expecting and make sure that then you use a graphic organizer to plan each of your paragraphs in the body of your essay. You'll also need to complete activity 4.9 and activity 4.10 which is the writing of your introduction and conclusion. There are templates available for that on Moodle and the study guide takes you through what a good introduction and a good conclusion to a research essay looks like. So you need to make sure that you've looked at that and read that very carefully and planned your own introduction and conclusion in the same way. Then once you've done that planning and the planning is absolutely key, you are ready to start writing the first draft of all your paragraphs, your introduction and your conclusion. So you can getting a complete draft of the essay ready. You need to leave yourself enough time to edit and proofread the draft of your essay. You need to leave yourself enough time to check your referencing really carefully. Attention to detail is so important um, here and that includes in-text referencing as well as the reference list. You need to compile the let's go activities that need to be submitted with assessment 4 and the instructions for this are on the tasks sheet for assessment 4 in the assessment block on Moodle and you need to then be ready to submit the polished essay with the let's go activities. So let's have a look how much time you've got to do all those things in. Assignment 4 is due on Tuesday October the 2nd at 9 o'clock and it's now nearly the end of week 9 so you're quite all very capable of doing the maths there and making a plan and now is not the time to stop moving. You must be consistent with your effort from now until the end of term. This piece of assessment is worth 50% and it can make a huge difference to your final overall grade for EWU. So what I've put up here is a planner of t sorts. So I sat down and thought about how I would go about getting this task done on time and what I would be doing in each week. So you can see here in week 9 we're still researching and reading and making notes. In week 10 we're doing those things but we're also next week completing activity 4-7 and you will be conferencing with me not in class but you can send me drafts and ask me questions as you go and internal students will be able to ask your own lecturer. You're then in week 11 writing the drafts and planning your introduction and conclusion and still communicating with your lecturer. You write your introduction and conclusion and put a full draft together in week 12 and then you submit the assessment at the beginning of week 13. So that's a really important slide and you may want to come back to it. Um, I'll put it up as a separate document so that you can download it and the plan is going to be what gets you through this last piece of assessment.